Before we begin the video, if you haven't yet, come on down and join my Discord server. Link is down in the description. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another Season 13 video. When we're halfway through every season, I usually make a video called the Halftime Special where I discuss my overall thoughts and other stuff. And before someone says anything in the comments, I realize we're in a bizarre situation. We have up to episode 6 in English, but the rest will be coming out in English very soon, if not already. So, close enough. However, the finale episode is already out in English. So, because of this, I'm going to tweak this season's halftime special a bit. Normally, I do two halves where I first talk about my opinions and then I discuss theories. But we'll be completely getting rid of the second half, so this season's special will be much shorter than normal. So, I will only be discussing my thoughts on the first half. Let's begin with this season's good stuff. This is the very first Cole season, and it's definitely what I was hoping for. He is very much prominent in this season, and is definitely the focus here. A big issue in season 12 was it was supposed to be a J season, but it didn't feel like it until the finale. However, season 13 is undoubtedly Cole's season. He's already been focused on heavily in episodes 2, 4, 7, and 8, and there's a lot more coming up for him. I think he's really good in this season so far as well, and easily the best of the ninja at this point. Of the three storylines going on in this season, the Cole episodes are the ones I most look forward to. Fans have been awaiting the Cole season for years, and this is absolutely what we wanted. Tommy Andreessen was right about one thing. There's a ton of lore in this season, and that's just fantastic. Backstory lore sets up what the story's about, and we've already had two scenes in the first half, with two more coming up in the second half. What's also interesting is that the animation styles of these two backstory scenes are different. The one in episode 4 is my favorite with a 2D black and white animation, and episode 6 is shown as a cave drawing which was really cool as well. What's more is that the lore for the season is really interesting as well, with the Muns and Geckles and the Skull Sorcerer. I'm personally a big fan of backstory stuff, so seeing all this is really exciting. And the stuff from the first half isn't even the best, because episode 10's flashback, man. And lastly, this season is already fixing one issue I had with seasons 11 and 12. The villain has already been on screen quite a bit. In the last two seasons, we had villains who only really made big appearances at the end and would often only fight one ninja. But this isn't the case here. The Skull Sorcerer isn't like this since he's already interacted with all of the ninja. And early on as well, meeting Cole in episode 2. I like that we've been seeing more of him, because while I think the idea behind Utagami and the Ice Emperor worked at first, seeing more of the villain is definitely better. And we'll continue to see more of him in the next episodes. Overall, this season is doing really well with Cole, and it's been a fun ride so far. However, there are things about the season I don't think are as good. In all honesty, I had trouble coming up with this list, so these aren't bad things, but just stuff that could be better. Let's take a look. This is one of those seasons where one story is way more interesting than the others. In this case, in the first half of the season, I don't really find the ones in Gecko stories to be anything too special. I didn't like episode 5 much, and episode 6 was good, but nothing really unique. The whole Jay and Martessa story was really weird, and I wasn't too fond of it at all, but that's just me. And as for episode 6, as I said, basically a repeat of the Dragon Pit. And what really bugs me is in these episodes, the ninja becoming leaders, it just feels very convenient, and I don't really like it. I don't think these stories are bad by any means, but I simply don't really find them to be that interesting either, and I'm way more excited for the Cole story. I also have to say, I don't really think the Vonset Geckos are the best. I mean, don't get me wrong, I mostly like them, but I think the season has stepped into a few stereotypes with these guys. I do prefer the Geckos over the Mons. The Mons, in my opinion, are too stereotypical, basically being primitive buffoons who lack intelligence. I wish the Jago would have strayed away from this because I think there were definitely better ways to write them. As for the Geckos, not as bad as the Mons in this sense, but also feel somewhat primitive. It's definitely not a big problem, but just something that kind of annoys me. And that's all for our shortened halftime special. I'm going to give the first half of the season an 8 out of 10. I would say the season's first half is way better than season 11's, but on the same level as season 12's. However, the second half of the season will definitely change that. And I'll be resuming my episode reviews again, hopefully tomorrow, so see you guys then. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone and everyone you know. Let me know your thoughts on the season and what you guys think, and I'll see you next time.